check it out. I finally got in some plaques from my students. Got the six-figure plaque. I'm gonna send that to one of my students this week. Even got the seven-figure plaque right here for one of my students as well. If you're interested in being able to get one of these plaques, um, I'll let you guys know about that towards the end of the video. But in this video, top rules that you should follow when it comes to creating a t-shirt design for your clothing brand. So I was going to say print on demand, but we'll do clothing brand this time because most of the time people who use print on demand are mostly selling generic style t-shirt designs and pretty much anything that sells, right? Clothing brands are a little bit different. Most of the time your brand may have a theme or you're trying to sell a particular message or the story of your brand, right? So let's go ahead and hop into it. The first thing is going to be colors because most of the time if you are selling your brand and a lot of you want to sell a lot, right? So in the long run, you'll probably want to focus a lot on screen printing. And most of the time when it comes to screen printing, every screen is a separate color. So you are getting charged more and more depending on how many colors that you use. So this design that we made recently, as you can see, we have one color right here, one color right Right there and you know what so that will be a full front print and would only be two colors but on top of colors you have to think about placement as well because when it comes to screen printing you're also looking at how many different hits in what positions will it be because look this right here is two colors on one side and then right here on the sleeve is a whole different color hit different placement so that's a whole different charge even though this is the same color it is two different placements and then this right here that's a whole different placement as well and then we have the whole back right here which is also going to just be two colors so you are getting charged a lot more and also this right here is kind of a horrible example because most screen printers here in the u.s won't be able to do a large just size sleeve print like that unless they are doing it from complete cut and sew they are screen printing first and putting it on so i'm just going to go ahead and delete this for this example for now but just imagine if this right here was the front print so if your screen printer is charging a dollar fifty per color then this right here will be three dollars total every single time they are printing this on a t-shirt but you can minimize that by changing the colors if you wanted to so if we selected both of them and if we made both of them white instead of it being three dollars every time this front was hit of that color is being hit with one color now so instead of three dollars now it's just a dollar fifty every single time so as you can see we can really minimize cost a lot as you can see right here that'll be three dollars but instead we can go ahead and price it back down to a dollar fifty so if you're starting off and you're kind of limited out funds you do want to keep this in mind whenever you are producing your items so colors is a really huge thing obviously a lot of things look good just like white on black itself but you are really limited like this one right here i bet you this would look cool if we made this right here pink and if we made like these stars right here like a blue or something you know that just adds a little bit of an extra flair to it so you do want to keep that in mind it is going to cost you a whole lot more just for a few different colors but just really think about that extra touch that you will add to your garment by adding those extra colors also when it comes to screen printing cost does come down the more that you order by quantity and the relations that you build up with your screen printer and honestly that's thinking really long term at the end of the day of course you can do things like full color transfers or going with direct to garment to begin with but in the long run screen printing will be the lowest cost or even going directly to a cut and sew provider and manufacturing it from scratch just like in the previous video where i showed you guys manufacturing for your cloner brand the easy way so the next thing is going to be readability you want to make sure that you're going to be able to read what's on the actual shirt, right? So this right here, as you can see, if we size it up, you can read it. And the smaller it gets, you can read it as well. But like sometimes you might make things a little bit too small and you won't be able to read it at all. So you do want to keep in communication with your printer, like how small can you print? If you're really into printing small or making some kind of design where it needs like a really small print. So right here, so I might want to take this and like use it as a pair paragraph or something like that for the design and you know what sometimes you might not be able to read it and if you already pushed into like full production you might get upset because you're like hey man i wasn't able to read it and you know on the visual proof it looks like you can but when it comes to print you can't and number three at the end of the day when it comes to a brand all of these rules you can throw it out the window because at the end of the day if it's a brand there really are no rules when it comes to design itself right because you really just want to kind of push the creative limits of what you can be able to create if you want to be like a true fashion designer, true clone brand creator with a lot more originality, then you're gonna have to throw all these rules out of the window, right? 
and you really have to do things that are strange different types of placements like creating this on the actual side i might even do that on my next print i've seen a lot of people do that and you know what i've never done it myself so that will be pretty interesting to do as well and then why do you have to be able to read things anyways that's kind of part of the art and kind of the mystery if you kind of make things kind of hard to read right so there are really no rules when it comes to creating a brand and honestly this design right now is coming together a lot better whenever i kind of mentioned that right because now i'm just kind of doing things that i typically wouldn't do that would be standard for it to become an actual design but when it comes to a design like this you will probably have to find a manufacturer right so let's go ahead and hop into that because i do have some extra tips when it comes to sourcing for a cloning brand manufacturer so i'm not sure if i showed this route on the channel before but you can search for the actual product that you are looking for for example if you're looking for like the oversized hockey jersey for the full size back print instead you can do a request for a quotation and on here you're pretty much creating a job listing post so you're typing in what you would like and then all of a sudden a whole bunch of manufacturers will start sending you messages and quotes for that production but here's a big catch that i've noticed over the past few years on alibaba.com a handful of people on here aren't necessarily going to be the manufacturer so a handful of the times some of these people that are on here the manufacturers are actually middlemen they're contract printers just like how in the screen printing side you know here in the states we can do things like hey i can print you 100 t-shirts but i'm actually going to broker it out so there's a handful of those people here on alibaba.com and i've noticed that several times over most of the time when i connect with someone who is an actual manufacturer factor when i ask them a question during their business hours which is nighttime for us they're really quick with the responses and if i'm asking them to take a photo of the sample they take it right there in the factory or somewhere in the showroom they're able to access these photos really quick when it comes to someone who's more of a middleman it takes them a while to actually get those type of photos because you know what they have to be in communication with the actual manufacturer themselves so really think about that whenever you are communicating with your manufacturer that you find on alibaba.com also whenever you are on here at nighttime a lot of them are able to go live just like how on Instagram or TikTok works. So also think about that. You can communicate with them on there. And also a handful of them are really open to doing a video call. So if you want to get really deep, you can also do that as well. And here's another quick thing that you do want to check whenever you click on a product that you may like. You get on over there, you click on a company. And a lot of people never really look a whole lot deeper, but instead you can click right here on profile, click on company overview. And here you can see if the company is verified or they have any certificates or anything of that nature. So on here, you know, in hindsight it looked like it would have been a good company to work with but i don't really see much of that information on here so what you can do is go back to alibaba.com go ahead and type in here custom shirt up over here click on verified manufacturers and then down here i would like to work with a verified pro supplier so this is someone who's been verified for five years plus and then now check it out whenever i click on all of these types of companies they've been in business for a while and now whenever i click on their actual business check it out i'm already on their profile page and as you can see right here they have quality control inspections and they're also verified to be able to do these type of capabilities and this is kind of lets you know this is a company that meets his standards these are real certifications that they have to follow through to make sure that your products are being done the right way so really make sure you look at all of that instead of just seeing a product that you think looks cool and they're reaching out to them you want to vet the actual manufacturer themselves before you go really deep so here's a quick example I just asked them if they had this custom kind of poly bag and she said yes they did and they she responded really really quick and then she even went ahead and folded our apparel and threw it in there just for an example as well so we were just asking a quick question and then she showed an example really quick with the photos right there in the showroom and then even sometimes i ask can you do a video and then she'll sit there and do a video real quick too so make sure you check for that whenever you are communicating with them so that pretty much wraps that up this is supposed to be a design tip video we got into some manufacturing tips and if you are interested in becoming my next six or even seven figure student all you have to do is watch the free training video at the link down below and then you can click to apply to see if we can help you out my name is rich if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button down there because the more you guys watch the more i can post videos just like this